Oh, hey, YouTuber, D Doc here. And uh, got another rainy day off here in central western Iowa. And I'm taking a look at the old 97 F 150. Got a little bit of a annoying noise, a little whine in the system. So I've got a little way to check this out to try to see just exactly where the problem is. So let's go start up the truck. Now it's not a cold start because I just got back from uh, heading down to work. Even though it rains, sometimes we got to drive all the way down there, check into work, then they call off work. We have to drive back home, but we do get paid for an hour's worth of labor time. Uh, so the truck isn't cold. It's warm, and I just got home. Went inside, grabbed the camera, and a little laser thermometer. Sentech unit from our good friends at Harbor Freight. So let's come over here. And we're going to start up the truck. Oh, can you hear that whine? Nasty little whine there. Now I talked to the mechanic a ways back. He said it's not the power steering unit. He thought it was coming from the air conditioning compressor pulley. I changed that out. Put another different pulley on. And it still made the noise, so it wasn't the pulley bearing. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this little unit here to work. Ah, here we go. Check out that alternator first. my laser beam. There we go. Well, that's the alternator, about 130 degrees. Check out down here by this idler pulley. See what else we can find down here. Let's go down in here and check the tensioner pulley. I can get down here to the air conditioner pulley. 199. Talking to a friend of mine this weekend, and he said, try this little thermometer, laser thermometer, find the pulley that's hot. Let's go into the fan blade, 99 go over to the power steering pump. Well, what it's showing me is power steering, the fan blade pulley, harmonic balancer, they're all running about 99. Air conditioning pulley's running about 9900 degrees the only things that are showing hot alternators about 115 that's their idler pulley 
going 132. So I would say that's what's running hot. And I think they put that idler pulley on new. But by golly. I don't know if y'all were able to see that, but it looked like the idler pulley was running the hottest out of everything. So I would say that's probably the bearing on the idler pulley that's going bad, and that's what's whining. Kind of narrows down my search as to what's making the noise. Now it looks to me like that idler pulley is new, and he, the mechanic may have put that on. We'll go turn that motor off. The mechanic may have turned, put that on new when I had this truck in the shop so he could replace the head gaskets and the timing chains and the assorted pulleys and gears and whatnot inside the timing chain. So I think he mentioned that he may have, hey, let's get out in some light here may have put that idler pulley on new and it certainly looks new compared to the rest of the engine everything else is nice and rusted with the years and that idler pulley looks like it's pretty new and black of course you know sometimes you buy new parts it doesn't mean that they're always the greatest so going by the thermometer looks like I might have narrowed down that problem just a little bit so I'll talk with the mechanic again and Maybe that's going to be uh, the problem to fix. Just go purchase a new idler pulley and see if that fixes the problem. So thanks for coming along for the ride, so to speak. Thanks for watching, commenting. I got other plans in store for this truck. As you know, my 95 Chevrolet Tahoe is out of service at right now. It's at the mechanics. Uh, it's spun a main bearing in the crankshaft. So that engine's pretty well shot, and uh, they're kind of getting on it, and they found another engine for me, and they're changing it for me. So as soon as I get that truck out of the shop, then I can take this 97 F-150 here that I did a bunch of repairs on, and I found out that the uppers and lower ball joints on both sides of the front end are bad, and it had actually worn out the driver's side tire, the front tire. So while I was over there one time, I had them find me a replacement pair of tires and we diagnosed that the uppers and lower ball joints on both sides were bad. So as soon as I get the Tahoe back, I'll go ahead and purchase some uh, new ball joints, uppers, lowers for both sides and I think I'll take care of that in my decrepit old garage for right now save myself a little money I think that's something I can do and I don't have to pay the mechanic to do it but uh, that's the story so I'm gonna move on to more adventures for this dreary day here in central western Iowa thanks for watching viewing commenting and we'll catch you on the next video